With all these exciting advances, personalized therapy for lung cancer is now a reality. In non-small cell lung cancer, uh, for patients with non-squamous histology, using molecular testing for every patient to identify optimal treatments is the standard of care. If patients have a targetable driver mutation, then targeted therapy is the frontline treatment. If not, then we use pdl one expression to decide optimal immunotherapy. In small cell lung cancer, we have seen the approval of atezolizumab with chemotherapy in the frontline space, and that's become a new standard of care. The Caspian study will help us understand where Derva plus chemo fits in in the frontline treatment of small cell lung cancer. As these studies read out and as advances are made, uh, we look at what are the next uh, wave of studies that will help us improve outcomes for patients with lung cancer. One specific setting we're excited about is the early stage non-small cell lung cancer patients, where there are neoadjuvant and adjuvant studies with immune checkpoint inhibitors. It's likely that we will see data from the adjuvant therapy trials first. These are patients who are treated with surgery for early stage lung cancer, typically stage one, two, or three A disease, and then they get standard adjuvant therapy in the form of platinum-based chemo, and subsequently are randomized to checkpoint inhibitor or not. Uh, there are several trials ongoing and some of them have been completed, so we look forward to seeing the results to see if using immune checkpoint inhibition in early stage disease will result in improved cure rates for non-small cell lung cancer. In stage 3 patients who are not candidates for surgery but are treated with chemo plus radiation, we've already seen the use of consolidation dervalimab as part of the Pacific regimen result in improved overall survival. Now there are ongoing studies to move Derva to the concurrent phase of chemo and radiation to see if that will result in added benefits. There are also studies with pembrolizumab in this setting, EP plus Nevo in this setting. So the, even the stage three disease is seeing finally uh, that we have turned the corner and there are better outcomes for patients. In small cell lung cancer, uh, the key questions are going to be what are effective second line therapies when patients progress on chemo plus checkpoint inhibition. Lerbinecterin is a drug that has demonstrated promising activity in the salvage therapy setting. Uh, we hope to see the results of the phase three trial to see whether we will have an effective salvage therapy option when patients progress on chemo or chemo plus IO uh, strategy. There are also studies in the limited state small cell lung cancer setting where IO agents are being integrated with chemotherapy and radiation in order to improve the cure rates. So clearly there are a plethora of exciting studies that build upon the advances made so we can take the treatment of lung cancer to the next level and hopefully provide longer and better outcomes for our patients.